Yeah, that's exactly right. We're just it's another step forward for us and uh, Mitch really broke down some barriers for us last year with not only being a, our first qualifier, first All-American, first region champion, but uh, now Jordan's kind of repeated that this year. And then, of course, we got uh, a second guy that made it through this year here in Jared. So uh, it's a good step forward for us. I was really happy overall with, with our effort. And uh, it was a, a grueling tournament and, and uh, pretty, pretty happy with how we competed. Jordan, can you tell us a little about how you feel uh Winning a uh, region championship, getting to nationals. Uh, feels great, especially um, wrestling Mitch almost every day in the practice room and seeing what he did last year. It kind of encouraged me uh, to go out and do the same thing this year, and uh, to be able to accomplish that is, just feels really good so far. And Jared, uh, now a senior, and getting an opportunity working these years to get here and, and finally realize that dream. Yeah, um, it's been cool to be a part of the whole process. You know, people were, you know, when I came out here, like, why are you going to Minot State? And it's like, I really believed in, you know, Jake Kettler at the time and Evan Forty to, you know, put me through this process that's going to get me to the place where I am right now. So, uh, Jordan, how impressed are you to make a region championship, like, pretty early in your college career? Are you surprised you've had as much success? Or, I mean, just what you're going towards that? I am surprised. I knew it would be tough coming in, um, and... To be able to accomplish this as a freshman, it just kind of shows me that I just got to continue to put the work on, put the work in in the future, and hopefully be able to repeat the next three years as a region champ, and then progress at the national level as well. Has it affected really just the goals that you have here in your Minot State career? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> at the back of my mind, I still knew that coming in here, I'd want to leave an All-American and eventually a national champion. But this just, this just is something to encourage me along the way. Um, obviously, I'm not done yet. It's just something to show that if I put the work in, uh, good things will come. Yeah, but can you talk about now the seeding process, this region, and how they go about seeding these two wrestlers here now? For the Nationals, uh, it, this is brand new. So um, the, this is the first time the National Tournament's been seeded. And the, the reason for that is because we Division Two added an, an ad, uh, additional 20 qualifiers this year. So the brackets have 18 now instead of 16. Um, there's a committee that does that. Um, and those will be those will be done Thursday evening. Brackets I think will be posted by Friday morning here this week. So um, I'm not really sure how it's going to go, um, but uh, you know, we'll we'll know by Friday. And so we're region. This is region five. Is there eight regions in, or how many regions? There's six regions. Okay. Yeah, six regions. So the three wrestlers from each region. So, uh, eighteen man brackets, um, and uh, they'll they'll seed, I believe, the top eight, and and then draw the rest in, and and we'll go from there. Are you able to keep a couple wrestlers around to, to roll on the map with these two wrestlers here now? Yeah, basically we're we're going to give them some different partners, you know, each day and uh, try to challenge them a little bit, you know, every day and, and give them some different looks. But, you know, for the most part with these guys, obviously what we're doing is working. And so we're going to stick with the game plan and, and just kind of kind of stay with, uh, with what's been working for these guys, maybe try to clean up a couple of little things here and there and come up with a good game plan and, and uh, we'll, we'll have them ready to go. Jared, coming back, you know, the way you did into the, the tournament to wrestle, and I think the same opponent, um, what does that mean? It shows that I'm sure that you, you have a lot left you want to give and, and try to make a run of nationals and do something there. Yeah, um, I kind of had a, you know, slow start there at the tournament and had those two overtime victories that were, there was one point I was, I think I was down, what, five points, and, mm -hmm. you know, I remember thinking in my head, it was, this might be it, like, you know, and next thing I know, I felt my opponent not want anymore and just from there I just kept it going through victory and you know we talked about how I could beat that guy again this next round figured it out strategized and you know took it to him and won so Jared and Jordan um, every wrestler beginning of the year their goal is nationals um, you guys had two different paths but when did it exactly sink in that you guys made nationals um, well for me it was uh, I mean, probably as soon as that, that buzzer went off in that, that third period for um, that uh, third place match, you know, you never know going to that match. That was the highest pressure match I've ever wrestled in my career. And there was so much laying on the line that, you know, you never know what's happening going into that match. So. Uh, for me, 
going into the tournament as a three seed, I was I knew I was in a good spot, but I knew anything could still happen. I mean, the one and the two seeds from my weight class ha didn't even make it to nationals. So going in, I knew <clears throat> if I could make the finals, that would the, I'd be set. And once I won that semifinal match, I realized I was going to be going to Cleveland in a few weeks, and it felt amazing.